little bit. This is in health news and a new study out. Lots of folks over a certain age, or really just everyone, <laughs> are looking for the fountain of youth, aren't we? Well, there could be a pill for that soon. Researchers say they found a new class of drugs that could reduce aging, and they've seen this in mice. Essentially, it removes a certain cell in the body that's responsible for aging, and maybe that, that could help us. Dr. James Kirkland is a researcher at the Mayo Clinic, senior author of the study. So, Dr. Wood, that was very general, but how exactly does this new drug work? What it does is it, um, as you were mentioning, um, targets cells that we call senescent cells. And these are cells that accumulate in various tissues with aging and at sites of age-related chronic diseases. And they produce things that damage other cells around them. So we found a few years back that if you clear them by putting a gene into mice that allows us to clear them, uh, that the mice are healthier. So now what we've done is we were able to come up with a drug that acts the same, in the same manner as that kind of gene and uh, kills the cells. Doctor, I was hearing you speak about this, and one thing that really resonated with me is you say you treat people that are elderly that play 36 rounds of golf, but you also treat other people that have a list, a laundry list of problems, and you thought that perhaps this drug could potentially, in one pill, help someone with a laundry list of other ailments. How so? Well, we know that aging is the biggest risk factor for most of the chronic diseases that account for the bulk of illness in society and the bulk of people who have to go into hospital and who die. So um, we, we've recognized for some time that aging dwarfs all other risk factors put together. What we haven't been able to do until the last few years is to actually target those fundamental aging processes themselves. And the notion is, if we can target them, maybe we can delay these diseases as a group. For example, if we cured all cancer, we'd add a little bit to life expectancy, but you'd just die of Alzheimer's disease or a heart attack. So what we're trying to do is to figure out a way where we can um, hopefully delay all of these diseases as a group. That's the hope of the aging biology field. It's very interesting. I know when we talk about anti-aging, oftentimes we're, we're talking about the visu visual. So this is really interesting to talk about what's actually happening inside the body. Dr. Kirkland, great to have you. Thank you so much.